It's so much nicer up here. Quieter for one. Not that I mind the noise back home. But when every person you pass jingles like they're wearing spurs, the quiet can save your head from cracking open under it all. The simplicity is nice too. The trees and rocks are happy just being trees and rocks. And the homes aren't built with gold, but wood and plaster. What I so often come to find, though, is that many things are unchanged. I think finding these universal constants is what really keeps me coming back. Take the moon, for example. No matter where you go, her place in the sky holds true. It's strange. Whenever I'm up here, she always seems to be at a different stage of breaking apart. But when I'm home, her face shines as brightly as it always should. Oh, <laughs> where are my manners? My family's been here since long before yours, but we've never even bothered to welcome you, so... Welcome? Uh, would you like to stargaze with me? I don't have much time left before I have to go home, but it would be nice to do this with company. Ah, yes, come, sit, sit. It's freezing out, especially for something as small as you. I'll keep you warm. <laughs> am, am I cold? Oh, don't worry your head, I'll be fine. The cold can't hurt me. Though, I do have to ask, what's kept you up so late? Tomorrow is a weekday, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, you can't sleep either. That's interesting. I didn't know your people had to deal with that too. So it's another constant. Lords, I'm learning so much tonight. Um, uh, well, I was sort of hoping you wouldn't ask. I, um, I suppose you can call me a good neighbour. I'm from the plain below the mounds. I don't think I'm allowed to tell you much more than that. My family is very protective, but every once in a while I can sneak away for a bit. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Actually, now that I have you here, can I ask you some questions? My family has told me about this place, but I'm never sure if they're telling the truth. They've led me to believe that perhaps your land isn't as simple as I may have thought. I've only been able to figure out things from my short escapes. As you can probably tell, they... I'm exactly thrilled about me sneaking up here. Oh, thank you, thank you. All right, um, tell me, do you really have bows so wickedly powerful that they can break metal? And carriages that ride so fast and loose they can m make maybe hundreds of kilometers in a day? Oh, they've told me that you've ridden up to the sky and built the biggest library in the world up there that anyone is allowed to use. But I I don't know how anyone could get up there without a magic carriage of their own. It, it's been a while since I've been here, but I don't think humans have learned how to fly on their own yet. Oh, oh they've also said that you've ridden to the moon and back, and... All you found up there were, were, were rocks, but I don't think that's true. When you look at it through a telescope, you can see oceans and roads and little circle huts and... Oh, Lord, I'm sorry. Little thing, I, I didn't mean to, you know, get so excited. It gets hard to slow down, and before I know it, well, everyone's a little overwhelmed. Um, how about this? I'll bite my tongue 
as hard as I can and you tell me whatever you'd like, okay? Okay. Ooh. Oh, I think I remember hearing about that. And what about the big capsules that go so deep into the ocean that you can't see the sun? And the loop machines that can transform one thing into another. Oh, oh, and uh, what about this? Oh, I'm doing it again, aren't I? People don't, people don't usually make that face at me unless it's happening. Oh, it seems the sun is on its way up. I'm sorry, but I must be going back home soon. Thank you for sharing as much as you have. I'll be sure to come back as quickly as I can. Uh, goodbye, little friend. But, um, please let go of my hand. I, I don't want to leave either, but I'll be back someday. I, I don't know when, but... I promise the next time I'm here, I'll come right back to this very spot and we can see each other again. Oh, please don't cry like that. You're only making it harder. I, I know it's hard saying goodbye to new friends, but I have to... Uh, little thing. I've lived here below the mounds since before your family built your house over there. I remember having to convince the other neighbours not to run you out in the woods with their cruel tricks. Where I'm from, misery comes so rarely that joyful things you might seek refuge in are usually already wrung dry. We flit from pleasure to pleasure like birds between branches. It's a common enough thing that it can't be savoured for long. I know misery as well as anyone else between here and there. It's another universal constant, like insomnia, like the power of choice, like the moon. I know it's hard to open up, but can you try for me? I'll keep it a secret. As long as you keep mine. You're, you're absolutely convinced that you don't want to talk about it. And you're not budding on letting me go. Well, alright. I promise to wait until you've at least fallen asleep. Sit down. Uh, Lean against me. That's it. That's it. I've heard your people will tell stories of my kind to put their little ones to sleep. I, I don't know these stories as well as you might, but maybe I could tell you more about what my home is like. I mean, I know I've fallen asleep to a history lesson before. Okay, um, where do I start? Well, I mentioned earlier that I live below the mounds. That's not entirely true. My home can be found in many ways. You can go below the mounds, past your burial sites. Eventually you'll take the correct turn and there you'll be, standing on a do kissed plains, and well away from those musty halls. Heroes of your people have sailed there a long time ago, usually heading west, but any direction will do. Sometimes little things, like you, will wander too deep into the woods and, and come out on the other end in my land. Others still have bathed in ponds which align just right. They'll dip their heads under to wash their hair, 
then come back up in a completely different place, a completely different time. It's beautiful out there. Magic practically shooting from every blade of grass. Long before you or I, the first farmers sat down there to start their work. But when they would leave their houses to work their fields, they found that every step had already been done. We've eaten from that workless harvest ever since. But as I've said, misery is a universal thing. There are hidden cruelties to it, just like there are hidden blessings here. It, it does not often take kindly to visitations by your people. Plenty of hapless yokels have wandered too far into the fog, only for the ground to open up and swallow them whole, just like that. And those lucky enough to avoid that fate would have to deal with the more, um, ill-natured of us. Let's say, giants who would stomp you flat and grind you in their teeth. Illusionary wisps leading you into trouble. Tricky puka, taking you on their backs and running you across the countryside hitting every bump and low-hanging branch along the way. Of course, none of us are entirely bad. We're just people, like you. Some of us like to stir up a little trouble. Some of us are easily excited. Some of us like our privacy maybe a bit too much. But even those people are still open to love in their own ways. My family is living proof. I told you earlier that I absolutely understand what it is to suffer. My family, as it is now, is not bound by blood. We grouped together because we had all been hurt by people we should have been able to trust may have taken a while, but we all realised that the choice of who to love is entirely one's own. Are you still awake? Oh, you, you'd like to talk about what's happened to you now? Alright. Take, take all the time you need. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. Well, there it is then, little friend. I'd like to make you a deal. Don't worry, I won't make you spill your guts any further. I... I just want to know... What... Well, would you like to... Ari, there you are. Lord Snow, I've been looking for you all over. Should have guessed you'd come sneaking up here. The others will be on your case for an eon if they find out. Let's get back down to the... Oh, um, didn't see you there. Uh... Who is this? Ah, hi. Hi, Sha. Um, I, I was hoping to be back before anyone noticed. Well, can't be helped now. Uh, Sha, this is my new friend. Uh, little friend, this is my brother. Don't be shy, I, I know they look a little scary, but they're even softer than I am. Uh, hi. There. Um, all right now, um, where was I? Um, little thing, um, 
insomnia has haunted me for a long time now. I can see the same happening to you. But it doesn't have to be that way for either of us. I think we could help each other. That cute face you made when you were drifting off to my story said as much. My family has learnt to lean on each other when misery shows his face, and has become stronger for it. So, would you like to come live with my family? Below the mound? You need only tell me your name. That's a lovely name. I am Arlie of House McCarthy. <laughs>